Hello, hola, Nihau, Asalaamu Alaikum. Europe, Asia, Australia, Africa, North America, South America. Welcome to Africa. The country is called Zambia, Tanzania. Yes, today I am at the border between Tanzania and Zambia. You can see behind me. This side, this side is Zambia, and the other side there is Tanzania, just separated by the rail line that you can see here. The other side, Zambia. The other side, Tanzania. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe as I'm going to show you how this border looks like, how people move and how they transport things between two countries they have got a very special bilateral dishes where you can just cross without a passport to other country i can say i can comfortably say that this is the friendliest border you can ever find between zambia and any other country why because you don't need a passport i like this i commend both governments for the job well done let's enjoy the video so guys let's go and enjoy the nakonda to duma one border post right now i am on the zambian side and on the zambian side it is cold na konde you can see people here they fix you know tires or pump pressure into you no know, vehicle tires this is an interesting part and it is the first time I've visited this place and I've seen a lot of motor bikes. It is reminding me of one of the provinces in Zambia called Eastern Province to be specific. Chipata, that's where you find a lot of motor bikes. Why? Because the cheapest mode of transport. Of course, I did not come alone. I came with, you know, my friend that I always travel with travel team and just look at these big you know heavy vehicles carrying uh, containers life here is just moving people are doing business and you know coming to this place I've learned a lot about Africa because people they talk about uh, borderless Africa. Yes, we need a borderless Africa, which simply means that there should be borders, but we should be free to enter each and every country without a visa or visa free. Nakonde border post here. One thing that is, you know, uh, made me to start wondering is on the Zambian side, the roads. And in bad shape we are going to see the difference as we approach the Tunduma side or the Tanzanian side just look at this it is just gravel all over this border brings in a lot of billions in dollars because you know the trade which um, goes here you can get a car here you get those tanks that bring oil in zambia there's so much more that goes on in this pod i can say it is the uh, you know the national cake it brings in a lot of income but look at the state of the roads and some uh, you know appearing to the relevant authorities to do something because it's a sorry site when you compare these two um, borders apart from that it is interesting that you can cross through these two countries or through or you can go to Tanzania without a passport this is what I am doing 
right now these cars which are parked on my left maybe people couldn't clear them they had no enough money so they've been held here not until they pay. these are the offices here on the zambian side this is a tour of the nakonde tunduma one-stop border post this is one of the friendliest you know border that i've ever encountered why do i say so because when i was in the Vingston, just crossing to the zimbabwean side to just see the bridge or do bungee jumping you need a pass but here people are just crossing freely which is a good thing did you know that you can cross here without a passport and this is the zambian office where you can do your clearance and other things if you want to go deep into tanzania you need to get a pass from me but if you're just crossing to the other side it is free as usual i like this kind of friendship i like this kind of bilateral you know relationship it promotes oneness it promotes unit among african countries how i wish this what can be done africa wise or across africa it promotes trade and friendship what else did i notice that you know zambia and tanzania there is one hour difference yes tanzania is one hour ahead of zambia and i'll show you the point where the time difference begins this is the zambian side and people are walking around and once you just cross you go to the other side the language completely changes you have to know some skills how to speak uh, you know swahili as you know that in tanzania swahili is the official language and i'm about to reach the place called no man's land this is the place called no man's land it doesn't belong to zambia it doesn't belong to tanzania but it's just no man's land here you can gravant people stand here do exchange you can exchange kwacha to you know shearing shearing to kwacha and on this journey i would be honest with you that we decided to sleep on the tanzanian side why because on the tanzanian side they have got better lodges they have got better uh, hotels than on the zambian side so i'm advising you if you come to nakonde don't just stick or sit in zambia cross over experience uh, the tanzanian way of life that's how you are going to appreciate the hospitality that is in tanzania i'm not saying that in zambia it's bad but the you know the standard is not up to date compared to tanzania interestingly you can see this level line also separates zambia on your right it is zambia and on your left it is tanzania just cross you don't need a passport you don't need a pass which is a good thing what am i if you are watching this video please come to tanzania zambia border here and we are at this place called no man's land zambia starts there the other side and tanzania the other side this is no man's land this is one of the most interesting thing and you can see how motorbikes are just crossing here it is very interesting and you know this is my first time of experiencing such kind of a thing that's why i love traveling of course i'm with my brother the famous entertainment guys what's up guys so the other interesting thing you find here guys between this place now that's the fence where zambia ends and it goes all the way where those tracks are this is no man's land zambia and of course tanzania now let me tell you one thing do you know that between this 15 meters from here to there there is a one hour time zone so 
now there is a time zone here like right now let me tell you the correct time it's 17:28 uh tanzanian time 17:28 in tanzania then it is 16:28 on the zambian time let's continue exploring this amazing border code nakonde even if border the structures are post. also crossing yes. you guys and you can see this is not illegal crossing it's normal crossing yes so here <laughs> so here like this one has not used the main one yes and here it's so free guys mm -hmm. so free to as usual you can see these motor bikers who are crossing with different merchandise behind their bike or behind their motor bikes if you're a small trader domestic you don't need to declare your things or to pay in task you just tax you need to cross there is another road where the, where you saw those you know motorbikes going or coming from as we said that there is one hour difference here tanzania is one hour ahead zambia on the zambian side it is 16 on the tanzanian side it is 17 this is one of the most interesting facts about this place as we are about to enter tanzania you can see it is written karibu which means welcome to tanzania and i hope you've taken note of what is going on on the zambian side there the road is gravel but here each and every part is stirred it is tarmac you can move in peace without dust all right now we are in tanzania <laughs> we are properly in tanzania one stop border post who is going what? my sister you can even see there it is written tunduma, tunduma one stop border, border post so when you are going when you are going this side you don't stamp here you mm -hmm. just come directly to one place Come here. Now let's see the officers here in Tanzania, the way they look. Here is 50-50. Our Zambian border but it's beautiful now mm -hmm. you saw where you are taking it yes yeah. so that's where you do your stamping whatever uh -huh. yes. oh, immigration formality here yeah, you don't need a passport you don't need anything yeah. so you can see this is where they stamp guys but look where we are going <laughs> this is what wadamaya has been in yeah. yes has been preaching mm -hmm. yes border is africa this is what it is but there is a border but the people there is no border yes yes it's border so that's border. tanzania you can even see there are two flags there that is zambia and tanzania where we live we live so much in peace yes we are just taking a walk walking through the famous nakonde border, border. The post. yes mm -hmm. this is where the heart of zambia is because this border makes a lot of money, money. there's no border which brings more money to zambia than this, this particular border i think that's why there is even that bilateral relationship <laughs> because that's why things are even working well yeah, yes it brings in more, more money, money in spite of uh, having loose mm -hmm. yes yeah it's good for business yes what visa uh, they restrict yes loose, uh, they are the relaxed mm -hmm. the regulations not loose they are just relaxed, relaxed. they are friendly so, yes they are friendly they allow the people to coexist uh -huh. You are this side, you are speaking. Not that the others are more important than others. No, no, no. no. There is mutual respect. Mm -hmm. Yes, here yeah, there is mutual respect. I'm sorry to say, Tanzania is different from Congo border. <coughs> Congolese can cross into Zambia. But you, as Zambians country, it is a very unfriendly environment. Although both, both ways you need a passport. Uh -huh. But here it doesn't. I hit. even remember when we are in Livingston going to the other side of uh -huh. to just see the bridge there. Uh -huh. We had to. You leave just end at the uh -huh. no man's land, which uh -huh. is the bridge which is shared. Yes. But That's here cool. we are 
We are from Zambia, but we are not sleeping in Zambia. We are sleeping in Tanzania. That's where we are lodging. That's where our lodge is. So that's what we are doing, guys. Our lodge is not. We are not lodging in Zambia. We are lodging in Tanzania. Imagine. It's the most interesting thing. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, hey, probably you have to do your documents, something like that. Now we've officially entered Tanzania. You can even see the tuku tuku. What what do they call them? Tuku tuku or tuku tuku? Tuk tuk. Yes. There are a lot of them. There are a lot of them. On the, on the Zambia side, I ah. didn't see one. No, 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 no. But here, bicycles. I mean, yeah. motorbikes. Even yes. in Zambia, they are not even allowed. Oh. Yes, and they are too dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing with motorbikes. Hmm? Motorbikes here is because of the bilateral relationship. relationship. That's why people even ride motorbikes. They are not allowed. You know, sir, sir. Well, uh, typical yes. Maasai, huh? You can even see yeah, the Maasai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. The Maasai guy is here. going to our lodge and we are going to do a room tour of a lodge here in Tanzania. Oh shame man. We haven't spread our bed. Ah that one is fine as long as you just do the, the hey, hey, oh yeah we are just showing oh yeah there is even a police station there to to maintain peace and Order. Oh, these guys must be come on. Have you noticed that the tank has come in the night? Mm -hmm. During that time, there is danger with this kind of mess. Mm -hmm. They will be causing. They will be. As we've reaching the last part of this video, as they say that everything that goes up must surely come down. I would like to. Um, mention some contrasts that I've seen between these two borders Nakonde and Tuduma in Zambia you see that the road is not well built it is gravel and there are you know plastics liters everywhere just like that but on the Z on the Tanzanian side if you've noticed there are tarmacs roads are well built and it is much much cleaner otherwise guys this is what i wanted to show you what happens on the nakonde to duma one stop uh, one stop border post between zambia and tanzania thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your support because it means a lot this was your boy matthews aka macho 08 from zambia africa if you are new on this channel don't forget to subscribe i will really appreciate bye bye goodbye daswidania ciao ciao